All right, guys. So how's she going today? So kind of a cool day today. Of course, it's cloudy out, and it kind of kind of rained a little bit this morning. <laughs> Getting kind of sick of this rain now. But phone says we've had up till slightly over an inch, but my rain gauge only said it was just slightly over half an inch. So I don't know really know why there's a difference, but there is. So. But that was from all the last few days. We got up to half an inch. Phone says an inch, but I I don't think that's right. I don't know. So I guess it depends on the area. But anyways, it's gonna be two videos, separate ones, of course, because my things showed up that I ordered. And uh, this one is a uh, stud finder, and uh, I I don't think it come with a battery though. I don't think so, but <clears throat> finds the the stud, the center of the stud, real easy, pretty quick. Um, deep scan. It also scans AC wiring, steel pipes or metal pipes, rebar, you know, just metal in general, and traces hot AC wires. So, but I know, I, th I think I watched a video on this and one guy said that, I think it was either the AC wiring or traces the hot AC outlet wires. I guess whatever the difference is, but he says one of those was awful sensitive. It started picking it up like long before it even found, like before you're even close to the wire. So, but he says that the uh, wooden metal stud finding part of it was was actually pretty good so I found this one um, that's the brand I guess that's the brand name of it if you can read that I'll put it in the title anyway and uh, I think that is a uh, TH210 I guess that's what the back of it looks like anyway back of the package nothing fancy but this is for a future project that involves a stud finder. Now, I didn't need a fancy one. I really don't. I didn't need a fancy one. It's just that this, this one, even though it's actually kind of, in my book, it's considered fancy. Um, it was actually pretty cheap. This was like 15 bucks on eBay. You know, I wasn't going to spend like $50 or anything stupid like that because why you know I may only use this thing once and then that might be the end of it forever you know I mean I I'm not gonna know so I had to, there we go so in the package you should get a little little book I guess like this. And this just kind of tells you, yeah, this kind of just tells you how to use it and uh, how to select different modes and stuff like that. It's just like a little book for it. So if you're new to using, if you're new to using stud finders like I am, you'll want to read that. You know, if you've used them before, then, there's, then you don't need to. But, uh. Here's the stud finder itself, and I'm not going to keep anything but the uh, the little book thing. So I'll throw that in the trash. But here it is. Um, it's got a little bit of weight to it. It ain't terrible, and the battery goes in the back. Um, I find it kind of odd that it, yeah, you know, it didn't come with a battery. Now they said that in the in the description. But I find that kind of odd, because usually when you order stuff, it comes with batteries. But, you know, again, it doesn't really matter. So, I think this takes a 9-volt battery. And like I just like it says, here's the thing for that. And uh, I can get them anywhere. I'm probably just going to get, like, a cheap one, because I'm only going to probably use it once or twice, the stud finder. And, uh, you know whatever else so 
This is your on off button right here. I'll make sure of that. Look at number nine. Okay, I mean, it says on and off anyway, clearly. So number nine would be power button. And then number 10, which would be this button here with the little arrow on it. That is your mode selection. So, and then it shows on here on the book. Um, yeah, it shows on the book here. There's a little sheet of piece of paper. You know what what the what the displays would be on your monitor or your little screen here. Um, you know to tell you what mode you're in, what you're scanning, because you can scan like I said, you know, metal, wooden posts or studs, and wiring, AC wiring, pretty much. But it also has on here um, has a little arrow. <clears throat> I guess, yeah, left and right arrow that, that will pop up on the display. So as you get closer to a stud, there's actually a stud right here, right behind you guys, but if you were kind of off, it would tell you to still go that way until you got closer or dead on center with it. And of course, you have this little thing here, little notch. That's pretty much, I guess, where you would mark it with your pen. You'd stick your pen there, you know, so you can mark the center of your, your studs. So, but yeah, looks like this is made in China, but I mean, it, it feels like it's made well, so, you know, and I don't plan on using this that much, but it's there kind of in the future too, you know, if we do need to do some house remodeling, I guess, or something or whatever, you know, we want to know, or if we want to hang something, that's another good useful thing for this, if you wanted to hang a mirror or or something and you want to put it into a stud because you know if you get a heavy mirror or or if you want to hang your TV on a wall um, you want to mount your TV stand the mount into studs you don't want to just go straight into your plywood or whatever you got that's painted because that will never hold the weight of a TV you know you always want to go into a stud and that's what you can use this for. You can run it right across your up to the center of your stud, you know, and then you can mark it with a pen or a pencil, and then you're good. So I forgot to show you too that this button here, this yellow one, that's your active button. That means when you're ready to scan whatever it is that you want to scan, you push and hold the button, and then you know it pops up, tells you what to do, tells you tells you what to do. So. I have watched a couple of YouTube videos on this. Um, this is a little bit more fancier than what I needed. I didn't really need anything with wiring to sense wires. But I think from what the other video I watched said, the wiring scanning is kind of off. It's sensitive. So it picks it up long before you're even there. You know, which is a bad thing. But he says for the studs, it's, it, it's pretty accurate. So, but that's the brand of it. If you didn't catch that earlier. I don't know, the camera's not focusing. It seems like it's not focusing, but it's because it's retarded. So, that's what you get for using your stinking phone. But, yeah, I'll just pick up a 9-volt battery. Uh, you can use any 9-volt battery, it doesn't matter. You know, one that'll fit back here, obviously. Um, it looks like it has little little pads here. I, didn't, I don't think it's anything in the book about them, but I think mostly what they do is that that's what you would push up against the wall and it won't scrape your paint you know it kind of gives you a little bit of a soft buffer there so you're not destroying your paint so but that's what I picked up just a I mean this is pretty cheap for how fancy it is I mean I imagine there's more higher tech ones out there but I just need the stud part of it, the stud finder part of it I didn't really need the wiring but I figured well I liked it. I liked the, the digital display. I believe it beeps at you too. I don't know how much I can't remember if it beeps. It probably does. But another thing it does too, um, when you find, see this, like when you find the center, the center of your stud, of course, I mean, you would mark it here, but it'll show an arrow pointing up. 
and you know, as it's going to be in line with your little notch up here, that means that you found the true dead center of your, your stud. It says here in the book, so you can read the little pamphlet here or whatever. So, that's actually pretty good. So, uh, apparently you can scan, I think there's different settings here. Yeah, I think you can scan all the way up to uh, one and a half inches thick. So I, you know, I suppose depending if you, if you know how thick your walls are, then you'd be able to, I guess, just change it. But you could just try it with the lightest setting first, and then go heavier if you need to. But that's that. And uh, it, I mean, it feels decent. You know, it feels like it's made out of decent quality. If you were a professional user, this might be okay, but you probably would want to get something a little more high tech. But for an average user like me, I think this is more and more than enough. But buttons are nice and soft, except the button on the side here. That's plastic and it clicks. So, but yeah, I can't show you the display because I don't have a battery for it. I forgot to actually grab one, but um. I guess when the time comes to use it, I can show you how it kind of works. Um, or when I do get a battery, I can uh, make another video and uh, show you how the display works. But there's plenty of other videos out there that show the same thing. So there you go, guys. Um, that's just the the stud finder I picked up, and this is just for when I redo my flags up on the roof. Because I want to make sure the mounts go into some studs. So I need a stud finder to find my studs and make sure I'm accurate and I don't crack the stud or something. So hopefully that will help enough so I can do a better job keeping my flags on top of my roof. So but yeah, so I guess that's it on that video. I just want to let you guys know I got another video coming up here I got to make here pretty quick. But I just want you guys to see at least the stud finder. That's what I picked up. So, yeah. So, anyways, guys, I guess uh, have a good day and stuff and stuff. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care easy.